Welcome to Namaste Today, an optimistic way to begin your day. I'm your heartfelt host and the sensei to serious joy, Christopher Wateki. This audio blogcast is full Friday. Thank goddess it's Friday. Friday, June 2nd, 2017. Thank God it's the end of the week. Namaste. If you think it's been a wacky week, and believe you me, it has been for me, The planets say we're just getting started. In today's zodiac weather, I'll talk about today being the bridge and tomorrow being the breakthrough. And later in your tea time, we have a holy Saturday coming up. In fact, I call it Holy Shift Saturday. But first, let's take a look at today's moods and your zodiac weather. This zodiac weather is for Friday, June 2nd, 2017. And my global forecast for Planet Gaia is sunny and growing today on this Friday. You cross an emotional bridge out of reality and into balance. Let's take a look at those planets. If you think this week has been interesting, let me tell you, the fun has just begun. Today, Step 12 rules the day. Step 12 of Gemini. Gemini is our intellectual consciousness. And Step 12 is always the bridge. You probably know the 11 steps to serious joy. Once we get to 11, we're in integrity. And once we get to 12, we move to new territory. Today, you will be crossing some sort of emotional bridge. And because we're in Gemini, you may find yourself thinking, what's next? What should I do? Where should I go? All sorts of questions. And the answer, according to step 12, comes from the two and the 12, I feel. Today, your feelings must guide you, like Luke and Leia in Star Wars, out of old thinking and onto new territory. You are frankly switching railroad tracks. That's how I see Gemini consciousness. We tend to think linearly, like a railroad, straight down to a given destination. But the way life is, is it's actually curved like step zero. And every now and then, the universe bumps us to switch tracks. Today through tomorrow, the universe is saying your feelings will guide you to a new track of thinking, new territory. But this is not just new thinking. This is likely profound. Why is that? Well, for starters, today Mercury himself, which is the ruler of Gemini, is at step 22. Step 22 is the breakthrough step, the aha moment, the by George, I think I've got it. And the 22 comes from what you feel mixing with something else you feel. So today we are meant to go through our feelings. If you feel lost, explore what you might feel like. Explore what it is you want to feel. Explore what it is that doesn't feel good. But don't ask your mind for the answer when your mind is the part of you that's supposed to discover what it is when it comes in the door. Now, no matter what sign you are or no matter what you are facing today, step 12 still delivers the same recipe for success. Whatever it is you are contemplating to or opening up to, you have to make sure that when you stumble across a possible explanation, solution, or direction, it follows this formula. First of all, step one, I love, that your heart loves the direction that your mind's just come up with because your heart is, after all, the king or queen. And step two, it feels right. So today, if you find yourself lost, look for something, a solution, a direction, anything, where your heart says, I love that idea, and it really feels right. When you love it, step one, and you feel it, step two, then finally you believe, step three. In other words, you have a new trajectory of thinking, or in other words, you find the new railroad tracks. But you know, friend, the fun doesn't stop there. Because once you get on this new path of thinking, which is likely by the time you go to bed tonight, this is going to likely start a little inner mini-me revolution. In fact, tomorrow on Saturday, Step 13 rules the day. And not only does it rule the day, but it rules the day while we also have the moon crossing Jupiter at 13 and Venus crossing Uranus in Aries. In other words, there are planetary fireworks in the next 24 hours for you to have a major epiphany and discovery. In fact, it's so major, I've made it the topic of today's tea time. 
So go steep yourself some tea, and let's have our weekend tea time. Hello, my friend, and welcome to our tea time. Today's tea time topic is Holy Shift Saturday. Looking at the day of Saturday, it looks like the universe is going to go through a dimensional holy shift. This is mostly due to the power of Uranus. Uranus is the planet that makes us shift dimensions. So when we move to another floor or new to another level of thinking or we're promoted or we realize something that we've been blind to our whole life. This is a Uranus moment. Typically, I call it a breakdown and a breakthrough. But on Saturday, we have some major Uranus harmony going on. For starters, the sun will be at step 13 Gemini. Step 13 adds to a 4, which is a Uranus rule day. And so without any other planets in play, 13th degree of Gemini is always one you end up having your mind blown a bit. Something really shows or throws you off. I want to remind you that our new moon that we had not too long ago was at step four, which was basically planting the seed for our mind to be blown. So Saturday, it looks like we wake up thinking one thing and believing one thing. And by the time you go to bed, you'll probably think and believe something different. Sunday, you may feel like a stranger in a strange land. But it's not just the sun. It's also Jupiter. The sun and Jupiter are trining on Saturday, which means that your mind will be thinking differently about something and it will tie directly into your ability to understand what's fair, what's fair to you, what is love, and what do you deserve, okay? That's what Jupiter in Libra is bringing, restoring balance to your life, restoring balance to your fairness. And so we'll have the mighty powers of the sun and Jupiter working in coordination during the day. But wait, there's more. By the end of the day, the moon is in Libra and will conjunct Jupiter around 7 p.m. Pacific time or 4 p.m. Eastern time. So we will be building up all day to some emotional realization of what's really fair to us, what we really deserve. And at 7 p.m. or 4 p.m. Eastern, there'll be this moment where, aha, I think I get it now. But wait, friends, there's more. Adding more uranium to this cosmic equation, Venus tomorrow will conjunct Uranus, the king of step four, at, tw at step 27 Aries. This means that at the same moment, we are opening up to who we really are, Aries, and what our potential is. So basically, we realize what's fair, we have a major change in thinking, and our thoughts about our potential suddenly skyrocket through the roof. Suddenly, with Venus on Uranus, you will likely see unlimited possibilities and it may be because you're no longer in Kansas anymore, but looking at all the planets, it's mostly because your ceiling of mental limitation, your own thoughts and mind, that ceiling has been blown. You have broken the intellectual glass ceiling, and therefore I think will be open to your greatest potential, or at least thinking about it. But I have to say, there's still a bit more. That Venus-Uranus conjunction that's opening yourself to a greater vision of yourself now that the glass ceiling has been blown will not only be opening you up, but will be forming a grand trine and fire, which is passion, with the North Node in Leo at step 27 also and the galactic center in Sagittarius at step 27. This to me says a moment in fate where the cosmic clock is now moving up to another number, if you will. A new chapter of your entire story is actually birthing. And it really all comes down to the fact that you are willing to think differently about yourself and think differently about what's fair to you. Now, that said, that's a lot of mumbo-jumbo of planetary talk, so I want to break this down as my little weekend gift to you for all 12 signs on how I believe the Holy Shift Saturday will affect you. And I do encourage you to listen also for your rising sign, 
because this is such a fated transit, you may see more evidence in your rising sign astrology than your sun sign. And without further ado, let us begin with the purebreds of the zodiac, the Ari, or Aries. For the Aries, the moon in Libra and Jupiter in Libra are helping you to find what real balance is and understand what real balance is in your personal relationships. So Arieses will finally determine what's fair to them in relationships. This will in turn, with the sun at step 13, Gemini, have you think differently about your life altogether. And Venus on Uranus says you will now open up to who you are and what your potential is beyond your dream. So you will literally have your mind and ego blown. For the Tauruses, you're going to finally understand and feel what a balanced lifestyle is. Harmony with yourself, your body, and everything. And this is going to force you to think differently about what you really value in life, money or otherwise. And what this does is open you up to unlimited faith as a result of changing your thinking about your values. The Geminis. You're going to find balance finally with love and what your heart really truly wants in love. And this is going to actually force you to think differently about who you actually are now that your love fairness is changing. And once you think differently about who you are, you're then going to open up to unlimited possibilities when it comes to your potential in society and who you can become. The Cancers. You're going to finally find emotional balance with yourself, which is huge if you know cancers. This is going to cause you to have different thinking about what you have faith in or not. Turns out emotions were disrupting your faith. And as a result, you will have unlimited possibilities now with your ideas about where your career and legacy can go. The Leos are going to find a new balance in their thinking. They've been back and forth and not able to find any clarity. And finally finding a balance in your thinking, you're going to think differently now about what your potential is in society or who you are out there in the world. And this is going to open you up to unlimited possibilities of what your life purpose is and what will bring true meaning. For the Virgos... You're going to find balance with your values and your self-esteem, finally finding the sweet spot of what you feel you are worth. This is going to change the way you think about your career potential and your future, and this will open you up to fully trusting yourself and other parties as necessary to transform your life. The Libras you're going to finally find balance with your ego. This is something you've been struggling with since you've been growing so fast since your last birthday. Finally finding the sweet spot with your ego and feeling what's just right, this will have you think differently about your beliefs and what your life purpose may be. And this will allow you to open up to all sorts of relationships that you might have not otherwise have attempted. The Scorpios. You're finally going to find some balance and feel balance with faith in yourself. This is going to allow you to think differently about what you can trust and not trust in life. And by thinking differently, this will give you unlimited possibilities as to the work and lifestyle you end up subscribing to. Sagittarius's. You're going to finally find the sweet spot of where you feel you fit into society, where you feel you fit in. This is going to allow you to think very differently about the relationships that you engage in and who you engage with. And this is going to then, changing the relationship rules, open you up to unlimited possibilities when it comes to your love story and the adventures that you have in this lifetime. Capricorns. You're going to finally find balance with your career, particularly between home and career. Finding that sweet spot in your career then allows you to think differently about your day-to-day lifestyle and your health. And once you think differently about this lifestyle, you're allowed to open up now to fully feeling secure and satisfied, something you've been working on for some long time. Then there's the Aquariuses. You're going to finally find balance with what you believe and find the sweet spot of what really gives your life meaning. 
Once you find that life meaning sweet spot, this allows you to think differently about what your heart wants and what love really is. And once you've opened up to what love really is, now your mind has unlimited potential to explore with with your crazy scientific genius Aquarius mind. So you're going to end up blowing your mind by finding balance in your beliefs. And then finally, Pisces. Pisces, you're going to find the balance of where you can trust yourself and others and where you can't. Finally, feeling through where you can trust, this will allow you to think differently about whether you feel secure and grounded or not. And once the fish feels like it has a new fishbowl, this will bring and open up the doors to unlimited possibilities in this fishbowl for how much you can make, your values, and your ability to be abundant. So by finding trust, you feel secure, and by feeling secure, you blow the ceiling on earning potential. So as you can see, it's kind of a trifecta of shifts going on through the weekend and through Saturday. And as you can see, I believe that when we come back on Monday from this little weekend, we're all going to feel like we're in a new place and a new time. And friend, I do believe that's true. With Saturn in Sagittarius, right now retrograde at step 25, the universe is bringing us to the story we were born to live. Now, I know this story started off kind of murky, but I got to tell you, as a storyteller, that's how every good story starts off, where the hero is lost and they don't know where if they're going to go. Well, after this weekend, it looks like we will find our Obi-Wan and at least know what the next chapter will bring. Well, friend, I am so grateful for you listening. I'm so grateful for you sharing me with your friends. And I'm also grateful for the overwhelming support that I received. I actually had a weird thing happen to me where I was accused of copyright infringement by someone on Facebook. And so my own profile was frozen for three days. So my apologies for not interacting in the Namaste Today Club. I want to assure you that this is not true. I'm not aware of me uh, infringing any copyright. Most of my shows are my face and all my words. Uh, but I do believe there's something sp suspicious here. So I am happy to report that I have a very loyal and wonderful Step 22 Scorpio copyright attorney. <laughs> okay. And I found her a long time ago. And I'm so grateful she's a part of our team. So we're looking into this. But thank you. I will continue to share my videos on Facebook using YouTube as the video encoder. And I appreciate if you do me the favor of sharing my work with others. Simply because, at the moment, it seems the universe, for some reason, has my hands tied. All right, friends. Have a fabulous, cosmic, out-of-this-world intergalactic weekend. Whatever happens to you, please report it in our cool Namaste Today Club on Facebook. And we're out there changing your ways. Remember, I'm here loving you. And to live, love, be. Live, love, be.